Hey everybody, it's Jim Palmer, the Newsletter Guru, and in this episode I want to tell you about an FSI. It's called a freestanding insert. This is a very effective way to use your newsletter to drive more business. Now, you know that I'm always prescribing you want your newsletter to be fun, interesting, and informative. That way your customers will look forward to it, they're going to enjoy reading it, Therefore, they're going to read it month after month and look forward to it and devour every word. If you start putting a lot of sales copy and a lot of uh, marketing and promotional type things right within the body of your newsletter, they're going to view it as a marketing piece with a masthead. Sure, it may look like a newsletter, but it sounds more like a sales letter, if you get what I'm saying. So one of the things you can do is use a freestanding insert, and it basically rides along free right inside your newsletter. Now here's a customer newsletter, a four-page newsletter, but inside is a freestanding insert. Now a freestanding insert can be simply black and white. You can print it on, um, on maybe light green paper. I happen to like uh, canary paper with black ink, so it doesn't have to be expensive. It's just copy paper. And one of the ways you can use freestanding inserts is to do surveys. For instance, what do you think? This is one from the Informar Information and Marketing Association. What do you think? It's a questionnaire. That's a great way to solicit feedback from your uh, customers. Here's one from Glazer Kennedy. We want your feedback. That's a good thing to do also. This is one from my buddy Charlie McDermott, the king of standout marketing services. Charlie actually does full color inserts, okay? And this is promoting one of his boot camps. This is one that I put together, black and white, promoting one of my products. But the bottom line is whether you're driving people to a boot camp, one of your products, or trying to get feedback, you do it on a freestanding insert. It rides right inside the newsletter. It doesn't increase the postage at all. It's very effective. Here's one more trick for you. If a friendly customer newsletter is just that, fun, informative, and entertaining, and therefore not really selling in a very strong way, that's the right way to do it. So if you want to do something for prospects, okay, perhaps you have a newsletter that mails to your customer base, mail another one to prospects with an insert, use the insert to drive these prospects to a free teleseminar, okay? Come up with a very nice headline, you know, here's nine things you need to know before you do this, and if you attend you're going to do this, here's what you're going to copy, here's the bullet points that you're going to learn from, and then you drive them to a sign-up sheet, on your website so therefore you're going to collect their name and email information so you can also start marketing that way but you're going to invite your prospects to a free teleseminar that you would then host and give them more information okay so your friendly newsletter they read it it's fun and it's informative and friendly as I say and they're going to learn more about you and your customers and all your success stories but the freestanding insert invites them to a teleseminar where you can then teach them more about your business and some of your offerings and at the end of the teleseminar if you're doing it right you'll make an offer at least to go to the next step if it's not an offer to buy something okay so freestanding inserts FSI's by the way with the new success advantage program that I just launched after Labor Day all gold subscribers are getting a whole handful of pre-done done for you freestanding insert templates so you might want to check that out just go to nohasslenewsletters.com www.nohasslenewsletters.com all right this is Jim Palmer, the Newsletter Guru. I will see you next episode. Take care, everybody.